I'm Ernie Conover. For the past six weeks, I've been experimenting with a new glue from Tight Bond called Quick and Thick. Over the years, I have often turned to Tight Bond Original because I can start working on my project within one hour of glue up. Tight Bond Original is about a third solid, so there's a fair amount of water that has to evaporate before that glue is fully cured. Quick and Thick is 60% solids, so there's much less water that needs to evaporate before this glue is cured. I've been torturing it to see how little time I can wait and start working on things. 15 minutes is a very good value, and I've done things in as little as five minutes. A lot of this depends on how much stress you're gonna put on the joint before the glue is really cured. My wife teaches weaving, and I recently got an urgent text message from her that a vital part of one of her looms had failed, and I needed to fix it pronto. It was what is called a lamb, which is a thin wood strip. In each end of that lamb is a hole, and the wood had failed uh, because of the hole. I quickly sawed out the bad piece, inserted a fresh piece of wood, and I actually made it contrast a little so that you can see it in these photos. And then I clamped it for about 10 minutes, planed it out, redrilled it, and the loom was back in service within 15 to 20 minutes. Really an outstanding example of the capabilities of this glue. I was trimming out the upstairs of my house and I needed to put some quarter round molding around the uh, baseboards. And uh, it's a lot of work to lug a miter saw up the stairs and it gets dust all over the house. You can cut it better with a little tiny homemade miter box here. I glued these parts up with quick and thick and 15 minutes later I planed everything up solved my slots and went upstairs and trimmed out the hall. I'd like to reenact this process before the camera so you too can see how good this glue is. Okay, I have a piece of plywood as a base here. I have two fences and a strip that I can put between them during glue up so that they will remain perfectly parallel. I'm now going to take my quick and thick and just put a nice bead on each of them. Quick and thick dries clear is another nice attribute that it has. So I'm now going to put this down. We've got everything lined up nicely here. I'm now going to take two hand planes and set them down right like this as my clamps and I'll pull out the center piece. We are now going to wait exactly 15 minutes here. Okay, we're coming up on our 15 minutes. I'm now going to remove these very expensive clamps I have here. I'll put the watch down right there. And we'll take our piece and get out a bench hook. And we're going to cut the 90, which is right across the two. Putting quite a bit of stress on this. There. You can see that quick and thick allowed us to get this job done in plenty of time for lunch. Give Quick and Thick a try.